Hello and welcome to Kuala Lumpur for finals day here at the Maybank Malaysia Open. Event number two on the 12 tournament OSIM BWF World Super Series. A week ago in Korea, the 2012 season got off to a flying start as far as Malaysian fans are concerned because world number one Lee Chong Wei beat reigning world and Olympic champion Lin Dan in the final. Now the adoring Malaysian fans are here to see if their hero can add an incredible eighth Malaysian Open title to his long list of achievements. Well, that's why it's not packed yet because he's not on until fourth match Lee Chong Wei. We're starting with mixed doubles and the two best pairs in the world, Zhang and Zhao up against Zhu and Ma Jin. Ma Jin, incidentally, defending champion. Then women's singles and the current world champion, Wang Yu Han, who's never won the Malaysia Open, up against the 2010 winner, Wang Sin. Then men's doubles, and what a difference a week makes, because a week ago in Korea, Cho and Shin had to qualify. Here they are in Malaysia in the final. They're up against Taipei's Fang and Lee. Then that men's singles final featuring the defending champion Lee Chong Wei up against Kenichi Targo. And then women's doubles will finish off this afternoon's play. Ha and Kim, the number two seeds, beaten finalists a week ago, still looking for their first ever title. They're up against the Danes, Peterson and Ruta Yule, who incidentally appearing in their first ever final as a women's doubles pair. So that's the lineup. That's what we've got to look forward to. And as you can see, mixed doubles pairs ready to come onto centre stage. Led out by the world champions. Zhang Nan and Zhao Yunlei. Up against Zhu Chen and Ma Jin. Ma Jin, there she is won the title a year ago but playing with her Han Bin only formed her partnership with this man Zhu Chen at the beginning of 2011 but these are the world champions Zhang Nan and Zhao Yunlei quarter finalists a year ago the current world number ones. Toss of the coin. And the decisions as to who will start which end of the court, who will serve first, or who's going to receive. Those are the choices for the players who win the toss. Her margin, 23 years of age from Qingdao. one and two seeds through to the final number four seeds also progressed to semi-final to their allotted position but not in the top half of the draw because Malaysia had an unexpected surprise with Chan and Go battling their way through and thoroughly deserved their semi-final position So to the pair that won the Korean Open last week, Zhu Chen and Ma Jin. Zhu Chen, 27, and as I say, Ma Jin, just 23. Well, their semi-final against the number four seeds, Tantoi Akhmad and Liliana Natsit. Two straight games. The only time they were actually stretched was when Ma Jin had to play against her former partner, her Han Bin, in that second round, playing with Bao Yi Sin. Apart from that, they've had it pretty straightforward, including that quarterfinal against the Olympic champion, Li Yongdae. Now, of course, playing with Ha Jung Ung. And, of course, that quarterfinal was a repeat of the final from the Korean Open.
They're currently number two in the world, playing against the current number ones. And for Zhang Nang and Xiao Yunlei, I think it's about a week shy of being world number ones for exactly a year. Oh my goodness, haven't they been impressive so far in the tournament? But it should be noted that those four matches, not one of those pairs seeded opposi opposition. But still, beating them all in two straight games was pretty impressive, including that semi-final against the Malaysians Chan Peng Soon and Go Liu Ying in just 34 minutes. So this is the ninth meeting between these two pairs. Last time they met was in the final of the Super Series finals last month, December 2011 in Luzhou. And as you can see, it was the world champions that won on that occasion in two straight games. Has to also be said of the previous eight encounters that twice the matches have not been concluded. So in essence, not really significant, but I guess as they were not concluded in retirement because of injury going both ways, one in favour of the number one seeds and another one in favour of Zhu Chen and Ma Jin, then it sort of cancels each other out. So the world champions far side of the court as we look down. Well, we get to the first of our finals. Off to a disappointing start. A rally. Mm. Three, We got past two shots. Winner of the women's doubles last year, Xiao Yun Lei.
the sort of rally I was expecting to see. Yeah, and it's going to be a real battle, I think, between the two pairs. Who has supremacy at the net? translating to which of the two women on court can dominate the front court area. Attacking play inevitably wins in mixed doubles. Yeah, that time it was Vargin that got forward to the net. Forced Zhao Yulei back in her defence. Such a good low serve. Well, the shuttle had been deflected by hitting the top of the tape from margin. Why Zhao Yunlei made such a ghastly error. point advantage and just six minutes of play. judgment well initially in that rally neither pair willing to lift the shuttle the flat fast exchanges blocks finally the lift but the lift was wide oh dear yeah he scratches his head
so sharp on to that. Of course, these pairs will know each other's games very well indeed because, of course, they train together on a daily basis. But I think on court right now, we probably have the two best front court players in world badminton. Oof, just wide of that centre line. Mm, quite a long way short as well. I certainly noticed the centre line judge making a call. teammates including last year's champion there sitting next to coach Chai Biao champion in the men's doubles of course he lost yesterday evening Bit of trickery there from Ju Chen. Followed it forward himself. Oh. And it's a good cross court smash from Chang Nan. I think Ma Jin is too happy about her partner not putting a bit more pressure on his shot, but it was a fine placement of the smash. here from the world champions. Doubles as well as as margin. So with that careless defensive shot from Zhu Chen, it comes eight game points. Oh, that's gone well on. 21-12, and the game. Yeah, we really didn't have to try and hit it so hard.
just needed to tap it down, Zhu Chen, for their confirmation. Not the number one seeds. Feng Yang and Zhao Yun Lei taking the opening game, 21-12 in 13 minutes. Of course, no coaches involved. And players from the same country left to their own devices. Of course, winners last week, Zhu Chen and Ma Jin. They need to recapture the sort of form that they had in Seoul if they want to prolong this final beyond two straight games. Yeah, that's the sort of form we saw a week ago. And indeed, the sort of form we've seen here this week. Oh, my goodness, what a good smash. Well, I can tell you, a week ago, he had a smash at 295. That must have been pretty close. Coupled with the angle. Oh, what an interception. Well, he's desperately trying to put more pressure on, desperately trying to be positive on defence. Look, he's stepping forward, crouch defence, wants to drive it back, but simply mistiming it. Uh, it's down the corner. That's a great backhand. Virtually no backswing of the racket from Zhang Nan. Creating pace. Six, two. Oh, it's just wide. Goodness me, I was about to say, what reactions from young man. Oh, 
My goodness, mate. Well, the line judge appeared to be half asleep. Well, make your own minds up. Just long. Just so desperate to try and gain advantage, just snatching at that last shot. Intersection from Chung Nan. He's a tall man, and he used his height to great effect there. A seven point advantage, and only a six point advantage in the opening gate. Really we burst onto the world stage with Kanan and Zhao Yun Lei when they reached the All England final in 2010 as qualifiers. Having reached the final, we won the final, beating the two-time former world champions Nova Odianto and Liliana Nazia. Since then, they've won 11 titles. Including eight last year. Time players, there's no doubt about it. Remember last week in their first round, Zhang Nang and Zhao Yun Lei was first match on court on first day of the main draw. And Nang Nan, I don't think, was probably got himself ready as professionally as perhaps he could, and they ended up losing first round. But every final they reached last year, all eight of them, they won. They're looking pretty good for this at the moment, too. Six. 
seven straight points. Low serve is short. Oh, she's played seven would have been just a little short. Well, when you have a 10-point advantage, I suppose you can afford to make a careless error. Yeah. Using his power well. He has based a lot of his game around power play in his men's doubles did Ju Chen. Overdone it. Well, it's not her day today. She was utterly brilliant in the final a week ago in Seoul. Yeah, that's beautiful. Lovely play, lovely placement. Good tactical awareness. Mm. Oh, he uses good power, he places it well. ground taking on margin and getting her award great vision two points away from the title handful of match points now to the world champions. Only needed one vote. 21 12, 21 9. Just two dominants. The world number ones against the Korean Open champions. No doubting this pair's quality play. 
but perhaps a little disappointing. I had been looking forward to this match. They are the two best pairs in the world. At the moment, but he didn't have the excitement and drama of a final. There we have confirmation of the score, 21-12, 21-9 in 28 minutes. Of course, we will have the prize presentation for the mixed doubles in just a moment. Well, certainly the stadium here is uh, filling up. Perhaps one or two spectators realizing the order of play that Lee Chong Wei would be fourth on. Not here right for the start, but I can tell you it is already a good atmosphere. So, champions a week ago, Zhu Chen and Ma Jin. Have to settle for second best this time. No, oh, can't add to their career titles. Which at the moment stands at a total of just three. Well, when you've got the All England, and a premier Super Series event, the Korean Open. That's not at all bad. So to the champions, well, this their 10th Super Series title. First of 2012. Man's still only 21 years of age. It's remarkable, isn't it? How many more years will he be winning titles for? So the players wait to be called forward.
contender by Proto, 2012, Ramazan, from Thailand, Suchen and Marjin. Suchen and Marjin. Well, she was champion a year ago. She was champion last week with her partner of today, but here in Kuala Lumpur. They were beaten, quite frankly, by a better pair. $200 for the beaten finalists. The world champions add the Malaysia Open title to their long list of achievements. Their 10th Super Series title in total. Their first of So our presentation party. Maybank. And all the dignitaries posing with the players. Thirty-one thousand six hundred US dollars for the champions. I can tell you that this is the biggest prize fund of any Super Series event that's not a premier. In fact, the total prize fund here at the Maybank Malaysia Open, bigger than a couple of the premier events. So. Players always enjoy coming here, they enjoy the crowds. And players staying in the centre of the city this year, and they've all been telling me how much they've enjoyed that.